Mining Arm, Jeeves for Keepers and uh, Project Off-Road. Right, here we are. This quick um, video. This is a pre-prep video. Now I'm going to be painting this Jeep with Raptor. The Raptor liner is a bed liner. It's tough and tenable and a protective coating. It comes out quite rough. I bought two kits. There's four 750ml bottles in each kit. It comes with hardness and the kits come with this um, these like chips size 750ml bottles but I'll do another video on how to mix it and stuff like that. I just want to quickly take, talk to you before it rains because it's not looking too sharp. Um, when I paint this tomorrow, uh, walk around a quick vehicle uh, before I do that, you're going to need yourself some good etch primer, some panel wipes, some pre-wipe panel wipe silicon remover, that's a must. I have this is tintable, this is a tintable version of the Raptor liner, so I will be using my own base. So this this, this colour I'm gonna be using uh, is the late Ford 20 1920 uh, sorry 1920 the the um, the Ford uh, 2020 base stealth stealth code and there's the code should you wish to paint your vehicle uh, your uh, Jeep in your car or whatever is you're painting in, the, in that colour if you like the colour um, my P3 Mars and so yeah etch primer wherever you go through surfaces and stuff like that um, you need a good etch primer on it okay uh, this is why you see on certain surfaces of the highlighted areas where I've gone through, where I've gone through, I've put red oxide in and I protect it, and then I've gone over in certain areas just to give a good etch primer. I'll be able to do that. That is exactly for this sort of surface. Etch primer, um, red oxide eyes, and then etch primer. U pole grip four. It is a one K universal adhesion promoter. Now, what I should be using this for is areas like this. Like this. Now, the secret of laying this wrap to paint on, like I'm a professional or not, because I've never used it before, but I have watched enough stuff to know where people have got it wrong. And I used to own a car body repair paint shop, so does anyone know what I'm talking about? Um, you see, I've gritted everything. The whole Jeep has been gritted, pre gritted in a 180. Now this stuff is, like I say, an adhesion uh, promoter, so if there was any shiny areas, like you see, in there where you can't quite get right in, in there and stuff like that where it follows the contours, if I was to paint in there and the paint didn't adhere to the, 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 the original paint and what's on the left on the vehicle, it has the potential to lift. Now look, I'll just wipe that dust off and there's a shiny spot there, see? Now, if I go for tomorrow, and just a light coat of this stuff on, all the way around these areas, yeah, over things like that, should I not bother to tape it up, these little dotties areas when it inside, um, here's a prime example, look, nice little shiny one there. So these are bits where I'll be coating a little light dust coat of this, heavily etched in there. So, primarily, that's what I want to be using that for. So, what I've done, all around the Jeep, the whole thing has been completely etched up, primed up, and I've removed windows where I can. So I've removed the side windows, because they just pop out. I've removed all the trim, so I don't want anything, don't want anything coming up. I will loosen the handles off when I get to the paint shop. I'm going to drive it to the paint shop like this. That grip four. Um, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> that grip four is used in areas like this. I will spray it up in areas like all down here, in here, and down here, and literally just any little screw holes and stuff. So yeah, so um, you can call this part one. Also, it'd be good to say when you're doing this job, you. It, it, if you forget to etch the sides of the paint door cards and stuff like that, uh, door edges, it's a good idea to actually just run an emery cloth over. So there's, you see on the roof, there's no shiny parts at all, on the roof at all. 
Okay, so if you get any shiny parts, run the emery cloth over. But if you do happen to miss something out, then that stuff from U Pole Grip 4 is going to save your day because it will, it will adhere to the paint um, and the paint will stick and you won't have no lifting. So that's where we are. Some people go heavier than 180. Um, I've never used it before. I don't want to go any lighter than 240, so I thought I'd go in the middle um, and go with 180. So that's what I've done. I've got 180 right around the whole vehicle. So, like I say, this is part one. And then, um, what you need, I think I'll need uh, the eight, two kits, eight litres. Um, but like I say, it's tintable. You can spray it. Um, there is a purpose gun for it, like a Schutz gun. But I'm going to be trying to attempt to paint it with a HVLP gun, high volume H. Let's get this right. Yeah, HVLP gun, uh, a high volume, low pressure gun. I have drilled in this nozzle out to two and a half mil to take this heavy Raptor paint coat, and I should be thinning it down 10% and then 10% more. Either. So we'll see where we go. Uh, and catch me later. So uh, for now, Adam with the Jeep. Jeep is for keepers. Project off road. Um, we'll see you, see you tomorrow. Hopefully, see you on the other side. Bye bye for now. Oh, just to say, if you hit like what you see, like and subscribe button down the bottom. Bye.